Okay, I want to do a little bit more work with um, function notation. So here's a couple problems. Uh, f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. That's the red line. g of x is x squared minus 4. That's the blue parabola right here. Let's find x if f of x is equal to 0. So if f of x is equal to 0, that's this function. That means that 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we're asking for the value of x that makes y equal to 0. When we say f of x is equal to 0, we mean y is equal to 0. So I think you can see we'll just add 1 to both sides. We get 2x is equal to 1. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 1 half. So y is going to be equal to 0 when x is equal to 1 half. And over here on the graph, you can see that. When x is 1 half, the red graph right here crosses the x-axis, meaning that y is equal to 0. So saying find x if f of x is equal to 0 is the same as saying find x if y is equal to 0. So I just take 2x minus 1, set it equal to 0, I get x equal 1 half. Okay, how about if g of x is equal to 0? Well, if g of x is equal to 0, that means that this function right here is 0, x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. It's a quadratic function. I'll factor it. x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Set each of those factors equal to 0, and I get x equal negative 2, or x is equal to 2. So I get two values of x that make y equal to 0, and those two values of x are negative 2 and positive 2. Here you can see that's that point on the blue graph. When x is equal to negative 2, y is equal to 0 because we cross the x-axis. And over here, the same thing. When x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0. That means that that point is on the x-axis. So the x-intercept here is 2. The x-intercept here is negative 2. The x-intercept for the red graph is x equal 1 half. Okay, I'm going to erase the board and try another problem here. I'll be right back. Okay, this time we want to find x, okay, if f of x is equal to g of x. So if these two functions are equal to each other, these two values of y are equal to each other, where, what value of x does that happen for? So f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. So I have 2x minus 1 is equal to x squared minus 4. Okay, so 2x minus 1 is equal to x squared minus 4. Just substitute this expression for f of x and this expression for g of x. Looks like I have a quadratic equation. Let's put it in standard form. So I'll have 0 on the left side. I'll add negative 2x to both sides. x squared minus 2x. And then I'll add 1 to each side and get minus 3 over here. Okay, quadratic equation, standard form. I'll factor it. 0 is equal to x minus 3 times x plus 1. x minus 3 times x plus 1. I'll check the middle term. Negative 3x here positive 1x here, they add up to negative 2x. The last term will be negative 3 times positive 1. That gives me negative 3. When I set these two factors equal to 0, I end up with x is equal to 3, or x is equal to negative 1. The f what makes this 0 is x equal 3, and what makes this 0 is x equal negative 1. So when x is 3 or x is negative 1, f of x is equal to g of x. Well, let's look on the graph and see what happens when x is equal to 3. When x is equal to 1, 2, 3, I'm up to this point right here, 3, 5, and you can see that the graphs cross each other right there. Well, that means that f of x and g of x are equal. All the red points right here are on the graph of y equal f of x, and all the blue points right here are on the graph of y equal g of x. So where they cross each other is where f of x is equal to g of x. And sure enough, when I set that equal to those two things equal to each other algebraically and solve, I get x equal 3. How about x equal negative 1? Well, when x is negative 1, y is equal to negative 3. And again, you can see the red graph and the blue graph cross each other right there because that's a value of x for which those they have the same value of y, meaning f of x is equal to g of x. So if I set those two things equal to each other, solve, I get x equal negative 1, and I can see it right there on the graph. Okay, I want to do a couple more things with these functions, so again, I'm going to erase the board here. Okay, I changed my mind. We're not going to do any more problems on this video. We'll go to the next video and do a couple more problems, so I'll see you there on the next video.